A lot of people think that I live in Australia. Now, I was born in Australia, but I haven't lived there for almost 20 years. Now I live in Galicia, in the north of Spain, and it's a very beautiful place. Let me show you. Today is Friday, so that means that we have to do something fun today. So how are we going to have fun on this beautiful Friday? Well, we are going to play a computer game. Now, this is not just any ordinary computer game. This game, Symantris, was written by Google and it uses AI to teach you about word association. Okay, so let me show you how to play. Basically, the game has two different modes, arcade and blocks. And we're going to start with blocks because it has no time limit and so to begin you have more time to think and less stress. <laughs> okay, so what we do, I mean it looks really cool, right? Really futuristic. So basically we click here play blocks and suddenly we have all these different colored blocks. Now this is a little bit like Tetris. So in the blocks are words and I can type in the bottom I type any word I want related to any of those words. So when I see the word sleep, I think of the word pillow. You know, the soft thing that you lay your head on, so I'm gonna type pillow. Oops, and then I press enter, and it says now let's see if the AI, the artificial intelligence, understands which block you're talking about. <laughs> it thinks I'm talking about kittens. Um, the AI didn't do a very good job. <laughs> so now the, um, the, the block explodes and I get 50 points. Yay. Okay, Frozen. Ooh, I'm going to think of Disney. You know the Disney film Frozen? And yes, another 50 points. Uh, refrigerator, I think of milk. And ooh, lemonade, no, refrigerator, yes. So basically, it's just a great way to practice your vocabulary by using word association. And because it's completely random, because this vocabulary could be about anything in the world, then, then it's just a great way to, to see if you have vocabulary to just talk about random subjects. Okay, so now let's try the other mode of this game, which is arcade. Now, this is much more stressful because you actually have to type quickly before the words reach the top. So let me show you what I mean. Play arcade, here we go. Now, the objective is to move that word, that highlighted word, below the line. So when I think of hat, I think of head, my head, head. And yeah, so now that word has moved below the line and so, the words disappear. And I got 55 points, yes. Okay, now another word will appear. And again, I have to try and think of a word associated. Rain, I think about winter, winter. And it moved below the line, so I get points. Pasta, Italy, you have to think fast. Because if the words, the words keep going like this, and if the words get to the top, Game over. Uh, cat, dog. Yes. Uh, paper, um, um, assignment. <laughs> um, yes, streak bonus, 355. Uh, flower, um, garden. Oops, gar garden. It's also great to practice your spelling, right? Uh, pencil, paper. Um, hair, um, uh, 
I, I don't know, um, scrunchy. Scrunchy are those, you know those elastic things that girls put in their hair? Uh, snow, uh, Eskimo. Yes. Uh, cooking, kitchen. Um, and all the words disappeared, so what happens is you have to try and type the words as fast as possible before they reach the top, because if the words reach the top, it's game over. And you can see, again, it's all completely random. This vocabulary could be about anything. It's a great way to practice conversation, because conversation can be about anything. The words are nearly at the top, they're nearly at the top, near the top, near the top. Oh, game over. <laughs> The second way we can have fun today is by playing with an app on our smartphones called Gweek. Weird name, I know. Now, according to the creators of this app, what it does is it uses artificial intelligence to analyze your speech. And it gives you a score out of 100, basically about the quality of your speech. If you're a good communicator or a bad communicator, etc. Now, I have my doubts about this, but, you know, it's a fun little thing to play with and see if, if your score is 10 or 95. So it's really simple. So here we have this big start button and what you have to do is you have to speak about a subject for a minimum of 60 seconds and a maximum of two minutes. Okay, it says, talk about anything, a news topic that you have an opinion on, or your hobby, or your favorite pastime. It says, imagine you're talking to a friend or a family member. I want to hear the real you, no script reading. I'll let you know when your score and feedback are ready. Your first goal is to score 95 three times to complete level one. So it's like a game. You move from level one to level three, okay? So, um, I'm going to talk about something random. Uh, I'm going to talk about ladybirds, because she's like, <gasps> ladybird, okay, here we go. This is completely unplanned, by the way. Okay. Um, I think that ladybirds are fantastic little garden creatures. They they are so attractive, the little red and black backs and they're so shiny and everybody loves ladybirds right because they're they're like um insects that that are they have a good reputation in the insect world um like everybody hates cockroaches and everybody hates spiders but ladybirds who doesn't like ladybirds um they they're very small <laughs> i don't know anything about um, like where they live or what they eat. Uh, I just know that when I see them, I'm like, hey, look at the little ladybird. And they make me feel happy. And, and that, that's all I know about ladybirds. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, so, okay, so that was one minute. I'm working on your score. I'll get back to you shortly. The average for call one is 86.32. Do you think you beat this? I don't know. Um, I hope so because kind of my job is to speak about things. <laughs> Although I don't think I did a very good job with with the ladybird. Okay, so it says that my Greek score is ready, and I got sixty four point four eight. That's terrible. Great to hear from you. Well done for working on your communication. But I heard many filler sounds like m mm and ah, stretched or repeated words. Were you trying to say too much in one go or rushing yourself? So those games were quite fun and they were completely free, of course. But everybody knows that the best way to have fun on a Friday afternoon is just to have a little dance around, right?